on the station taking action for you. This is ABC Action News. Okay, so most of us have heard about what to eat and what not to eat if you're trying to keep your heart healthy. But it turns out some of the foods that we've been told to avoid may not be as bad as you think. Joining us today, registered dietitian and nutritionist Christopher Speed. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks We're for having me. We're going to debunk some of the myths here. First of all, you've brought three separate items here per se. Let's start with dairy. Dairy is a really healthful um, food group. It, it, it contains a bountiful amount of uh, fat-soluble vitamins, essential nutrition. The problem is a lot of people are, are removing this from their diet. That's one bad behavior. The second thing is they're then taking a calcium supplement. Calcium supplements by themselves is not a good thing. In fact, it's actually been shown to actually increase the risk of heart disease. What you should make sure you should do is take calcium with an important vitamin called MenaQ7 K2. This nutrient will make sure that the calcium is not in your arteries where it can cause problems and actually put it into your bones. The most important message is include dairy as an important food group. Well, this is, and this is probably through, we're going to see this throughout what we're talking about here now. Uh, we've gone through various stages where we're told something is bad for you, and then you only discover later that, no, it's not bad for you. And one of those things that recently came off the list was eggs. Exactly. Eggs are really, really important, incredibly high in protein. Again, important fat-soluble vitamins. Don't remove that yolk. The, the saturated fats in the, in the yolk have no impact on increasing the risk of heart disease. In fact, even the American Heart Association now agrees that one to two eggs a day can, can form and be a part of a healthful nutrition overall. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how, you know, at one point, no, don't eat it now again. No, you should be eating it. And let's go to red meat right here now, too. Uh, I love steak, love bacon. Is it okay? Absolutely. Red meat typifies the, the, the biggest message that I hear. Eat in moderation. As you can see here, there's a plate of two-thirds of what you're seeing here isn't red meat, but it's from plants, whole grains, uh, quinoa salad, uh, vegetables, where there's still an important role for red meat. Again, really high in protein. Again, B, B12 vitamins, carnitine, amino acids. Really, really good, important nutrition. When we're talking heart health, what are some of the numbers that we should be paying out attention to when we go to the doctor and he says, you know, your cholesterol's high, you're, you know, what, are, what do we look out for? I think a couple of things. Really challenge your physician to not just look at the classic risk factors for heart disease. What, what, one of the new important ways in which we can predict the levels of or your risk of heart disease is how much omega-3s, the, the, the important fats that are found in seafood. You can actually measure that in your blood now. Cholesterol is an important one, triglycerides, but probably the best measure is your weight. If you're weighing too much, try and trim down by eating less calories, eating more of a variety, and trying to exercise more. The best advice that you have for people at home, is it eat in moderation? Moderation is the key. There's no magic silver bullet, unfortunately. If you can eat less calories, exercise more, you are more likely than not going to weigh better and weigh a lower weight. Christopher, thank you very much for being here. Where can people find you? You, you can go to my website, foodnutritionstrategies.com, um, or you can go to eatright.org. Christopher, thank you very much. Bill? Unfortunately, we can't eat any of this. It's been sitting out too long. Oh, it's just props.